All right, guys. So getting banned on Roblox is probably something that's frightening for a lot of people, especially if you've been playing Roblox for so long. But getting terminated, bro, getting your account terminated is insane, especially when you didn't do nothing wrong. And in today's video, well, you know what? Actually, before I even get into that part, yo, actually, yo, leave a like and subscribe. I want to see how much people actually have gotten banned on Roblox or have gotten a warning or have gotten terminated. All right. And if so, comment down below why, because I'm actually curious. Basically, in today's video, we are going to be reacting to uh, a video explaining uh, a video. Well, basically a video about a guy that got terminated and he didn't do nothing. It was it wasn't even his fault. Like he literally got terminated by Roblox and Roblox still to this day hasn't unbanned him. Let's get into it. Roblox legends who went missing. Let's see this. Oh, oh wait, I'm, I forgot I'm on my second channel. I'm not subscribed to Cubing on my second channel. Let me do that. Imagine being a door. Do we know how long until it comes? I have no idea. I bit my cheek. All right, let's watch this. Imagine being adored by millions online only to abandon them forever. Believe it or not, many Roblox players spent years building up their name only to vanish at the height of it all and for reasons you might not expect. So, to find out why they did this, and where they could be, we need to dive into their full stories one by one. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I already know who the freak- And where Wait, they could what the be, heck? we need to dive into their- oh. <laughs> Who is Lil Bro? Who is this, Bill Gates? Why are you- <laughs> Well, can you do me a favor and maybe wear my UGC? What the freak? Yo, send that UGC my way, my boy. Yo, $200? Matt, what? What's your username? What the heck? Thank you so much. That's insane, bro. What the? <laughs> Yo, what the? Well, can you do me a favor and maybe wear my UGC? Yeah. Wait. Oh my gosh, yo. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's, let's go back. Wait, send, send me a user. But hold on. The first one. Oh my Your gosh. Full stories one by one. I know who this is. This is Alex Valentino Crown. We all used to be in a Skype group chat back in 2016, 2017. Then once Discord came out, everyone moved to Discord. Bro, it was raps, basically, bro. Because once Discord came out, it's like the group chat moved over there, but I I, I didn't move over there. I, I, I started taking YouTube seriously at that point. One. Starting with a zoo 5573. Who the heck is this? <laughs> I've never heard this person in my life. An average kid who joined Roblox for the very first time, ready for the wonderful adventures that'll... Um... What are you guys doing here? Oh my gosh, it's a zoo! A zoo, please friend me. No way I got in your server. No way I met you. H hold up, why are you crowding this innocent- Wait! Was this the one billionth, uh, user? Was this the one billionth user? Or 100 million- Player. Oh. Wait, what's that music? Bro, who the f bro? Who is this guy? Who who is this? Chat. Who who the heck is this? Bro, who is this guy? <laughs> what? I was also in a thumbnail before on your main channel. Bro, hold on. Bro, what the heck? Let me see. MML Sharp 05? Bro, what? Bro, thank you so much. What? <laughs> like, what? You make UGC, bro. 
Bro, is this furry outfits, bro? Bro, you donate three you donate three hundred dollars and you want me to wear a furry outfits, bro? But please tell me you got some other UGC on here, my boy. <laughs> bro, bro, please tell me you got some other UGC on here, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, there's no bro. You want me to wear <laughs> bro, you want me to wear fur bro. 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 Alright, let me see this frog, bro. Let me see. Well, the name of the group is Mulsharp05, and you can just pick the one you like the best. There is several pages on the group, and also I was in your thumbnail before Lowell on your main channel. Let me see this one. Let me see this one. Hold oh, wait. I, I just realized. Wait, this is on my second account. I'm, I'm going to go on my main real quick and look. Oh, that's not bad, actually. I'll. I'll, I'll... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> bro wants me to look like a furry, bro. This is insanity. Let me refresh. Yo. <laughs> Should I just cop this? Red cute kitty. Yo, this is insane. Yo, if, yo, if anyone hits me up. Wait, where's it at? I just bought it. Right? Did I not buy it? Wait, did I not buy it? Where's it at? Oh. Yo, chat. Chat. Oh, okay, okay. That's not bad, actually. I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be worse. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I, I thought it was gonna be way worse. It's not bad, actually. Yeah, yeah. This is okay. Flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's let's get back to the video. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I messed with that. Let's get back to the video. All right, let's see this. That was the one well, billion user. I know I wasn't tripping. I know I wasn't tripping. I guess that explains it. Turns out this random kid is the billionth Roblox user, which was pretty big for the entire community, and especially for Zoo. Azu loved all the attention she was getting. Well, at least for the time being. After a while, she noticed how valuable her account truly was. Wait, so she was actually like talking? Wait, that's actually kind of hard. Like, this Azu person? She was at, like, felt like, I, I ain't gonna lie, because I, rem I remember the day, like, Roblox announced that they found a 1 billionth user, but I thought it was a botted account. Like, like, you know, like, how people used to make bot accounts? I thought that was that. Literally a once-in-a-lifetime chance. She couldn't possibly let anyone ruin it. So to be safe, she cleared her friends list. But despite that, players still kept pestering her for obvious reasons. I no longer be accepting friends. At all. <laughs> yeah, surely your sacred account will be safe now. Uh -uh. Right? No, it could get it could, it could literally get brute force. If there was because back in 2019, there wasn't proper like account security. Well, even with this warning, a player somehow stalked a zoo in a game and filmed it. Except she was acting a little bit off. I have to tell you something depressing. Don't say this to anyone. Bro, we I had still screen recorded it. That's insane. Time to investigate. The video's title says Azu got password guessed, a form of getting hacked. Her worst fear. That's a pretty bold claim, so we need at least two pieces of evidence. After she acted weird, Azu, or who we think is Azu, was asked, How'd you get into the account? And answered with, I just got the password. So, someone may have guessed her password and logged into the account. So, you're not the real Azu? I hate to say it, but she could have been hacked by someone who's jealous. But, no. at the same time, she could have easily lied to get people away from her. She did want to protect her account. Azu5573. Actually, I'm so curious to see this. Wait. Wait, no, because it's actually interesting. Like, I know I'm not the only one thinking this. Yo, that is insane. Wait, which one am I? I got to be up there. 200. I'm the 272 million Roblox account. Yeah, I'm better than y'all. Wait, wait, let me let me see my OG account. Let, wait, wait, let, let me see my OG, like my first ever Roblox account. 
Wait, 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 wait. What's my first ever Roblox account? 80 million. Ah, y'all losers. Ah, I'm better than y'all. All right, let's continue watching. Who is she following? There's no way. You following Flamingo? Oh, that's not even Flamingo. Who the heck is that? I'm Albert and I, that's not Flamingo. Oh, I think that is Flamingo. That's not Flamingo. Who the heck is that? Let's keep going though. I mean, that's something a normal kid would do, right? Well, we're forgetting a major piece of the puzzle. Her Roblox game, or her home as she says. In this game, you would expect something normal, considering she's an average player. Bro, don't tell me it's gonna be one of these, oh, creepy, creepy Roblox account, these creepy pastas. Oh my gosh, let's see. I think. But if we join her game for 10 seconds... Yeah, this doesn't match up. Yeah, I'm out. With all this evidence, it's safe to say she just got hacked. But strangely enough, the creepy game was made on the exact day she joined Roblox. This may seem small, but it makes the story a lot darker. You see, if she was acting normal the entire time, how can she possibly make a game this scary right when she joined? This could that's actually low-key fact. mean one of two things. Either one, a zoo is a pretty disturbing kid. Bro. Oh. Okay, probably not. Or two, she was immediately hacked right as she joined without even knowing. Thankfully, there's one more piece of evidence I forgot. The guy in the video from before also stated, a zoo logged out of her account for a whole month after she joined. Theoretically, she could have logged out after making the account, only for someone else to hack in and make the creepy game, without her knowing, of course. And after a month, she logged back in and realized she was famous. So she took safety measures, only for her to get hacked again, as seen in this video. So from that point on, she's been exiled out of her special account for half a decade. The situation is honestly really sad. She's just an innocent kid who happened to be the billionth user. So lots of bad apples took that away. To this day, we don't know where she is or what she's up to. So she probably a TikToker now. I'm gonna give it a buck. She probably do TikTok. She was doing the Charlie Milio dances and stuff. Let's hope our next story ends off on a happier. Is that Rizo? Is that? ride the guy or something like I I know it's something along those lines. Out. Unlike a zoo, Ripple didn't oh, join us. It was Ripple. And I, I remember the day he quit. He said he was just like I, oh my gosh. He made a post on Twitter. I'm pretty sure it was because like he was just getting older and he wanted to get step away. And bro got rid of all of his games too, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that was lucky stupid. Like you make it like like bro got rid of all of his games that was making passive income. That was dumb, but some legendary player with everyone crowding him. In fact, he joined in 2008, uh -huh. one of Roblox's deadest times. But for Ripple, Roblox was a sandbox game, a canvas for creativity, and he wouldn't let his time stop him from creating something great. So with the help of his loyal brother, they began to work on game after game, with the goal of making something out of this small platform. But since it was 2009, None of them really surfaced. However, that's when an idea hit him. What if I took inspiration from a bigger game than Roblox? This is the PS1, a legendary game console with one of its biggest games being Destruction Derby, which he was a pretty big fan of. With this fun idea, Ripple morphed it into a brand new game. Roblox Derby. The game was simple. You spawn with a car, and your only goal is to crash into as many people as possible. This gives you points to level up your car. For legal reasons, I must clarify that this is in Roblox. Well, for some odd reason, players found satisfaction out of vehicular assault. I have a bulldozer! 
causing the game to reach 7 million visits, which at the time, converted to 700,000 Robux. A nice motivation to keep things going. By doing something that works and something you love, you're destined to succeed as long as you keep going at it. But as time went on, he noticed that other games beat him in competition. But being the dedicated dev he was, he used his money to grind out a new game. But unlike all the other games, this one had way more potential. It was way ahead of its Ripple time, minigames. but to fully understand how, let's compare it to a modern game, Star Rail Simulator, the sponsor of this video. Similarly to Ripple, the owner was- Look. Look. Now I'm gonna be honest, bro. I know that they sponsored the game and stuff, and I, I commend that. That's amazing. And I hope you really got the bag from that. They didn't sponsor me though. Roblox noticed it, and especially Roblox and Simple games, it's not a surprise that the game quickly did numbers. The games were all simple, so people outside of Roblox noticed it, and especially Roblox himself which you'll see why it's important. But back to our modern game. Unlike most simulators, the game has an event every 10 minutes, spawning a server boss that everyone has to defeat with the help of Sparkle. Hold on, bro. One of them being Ripple minigames. Immediately, players flocked to the game to find the eggs, but while doing so, got obsessed with the various different minigames it had to offer. Overnight, the game was hitting record numbers. Ripple was thriving, players were playing, and even Roblox himself was happy. With the game bringing life to the platform, this seems like the start of an incredible journey. But during all the success, one player in particular was heavily inspired and fought Surely I can make my own version of this. Just like how Ripple was inspired by Destruction Derby, Typical was inspired by Ripple minigames. It's a beautiful cycle. So a few weeks later, he made Epic, <laughs> epic Minigames. A near insane. perfect replica of Ripple's, except with better maps, better game modes, and better marketing. Bro, Ripple, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'll probably crash out, bro. Ripple, bro. <laughs> I know when he seen that, he was crashing out. Now that I say it, it seems kind of threatening to Ripple's game. But let's not be negative. I'm sure they'll totally coexist in harmony. Nope. Despite their competition, both games grew at the exact same speed. Except, Epic Minigames was more frequent with updates. Every week, they added more creative minigames, which even the Roblox staff really loved. These devs seem dedicated. We should include them in our official events. Huh? So in June of bro, that- like, that's what consistency- Consistency brings opportunities, bro. Year, Epic Minigames had its first event, where players get a special item from playing the minigames. I remember This that. was I remember a that. genius move, because Roblox back then was getting tons and tons of new players, and the minigames themselves were easy to- Bro donated 50, said, want to add on this, please, no, nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, I'm not adding, I'm not following, I'm not doing none of that. No, 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 please stop. Don't, don't even send no more money, bro. Please don't. Actually, don't. Bro, stop, stop. No, no, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. It was a mistake that I actually added someone on on, on, on Roblox originally, and it was a, a mistake that I followed someone on Instagram. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, not going for it, bro. Please, no, nope to understand. This did wonders for epic minigames, so a few months later, Roblox included them in another event. And another. And another. Wait, I feel like we're missing something. Isn't this video supposed to be about... Oh. After all the support, Once Epic Minigames just... assembled a way bigger team, leaving Ripple in the dust. So he passed his crown and quietly moved on. But he That's was far from done. Just like his first success, he took inspiration from another one of his favorite games, Rust. A multiplayer survival game. The idea was pretty simple, so with his small team, they made a whole new group called Rovive. Spent a year passionately working on the map and weapons, with the hopes of this game finally getting... Aw, oh, come on. You made- What? He got deleted? 
I didn't know he got deleted. That's actually insane. Be wondering how a guy Roblox loves got banned. Well, this began when a fan made their own group inspired by him. But the group in question made a game completely ripping off Pokemon. Bro, donate 20. Oh, sorry, bro. No, no, no. You good, you good, you good, bro. You good. It's just, I, I can't add or follow people, bro. That's just, no, I, can't, I just can't, bro. Roblox thought it was Ripple's group and punished yeah. him instead. Attempt after attempt, Ripple angrily tried to get his stuff back, but to no avail. But after days of pestering, he got his account back, but he saw the platform in a different light. Ever since, he was getting less and less active with his game, until he completely disappeared. If you go to his main game, it's still up, but his profile is completely banished. Perhaps Roblox banned him again, but if you go to his Twitter, he says he's permanently retired. People claimed this was because he allegedly scammed his team for Rovive, which could explain a lot. With all this spreading around and his throne being taken, it's honestly kinda sad. But a clue he left behind caught me off guard. According to a website that saves data, Ripple states he is no longer enjoying Roblox and only wants money. So V's issues really killed his passion, causing him to focus more on life. But either way, after pioneering a new type of game, helping with huge events, and bringing life to the platform, he's definitely made his mark. So let's hope he inspired the new generation to do the same. Well, we're in luck, cause your next player Is might this... do just that. Jacob, what? What? He... I didn't know he, what? Bro, I had him added on my, what the freak? Bro, he was, at... bro, I had him added on my Project Supreme account, and I had him added on my other accounts. Bro, man, what? Let me find Just like out. Ripple, he's driven, dedicated, and determined to make Roblox games. Cause years before, he's been a fan of them, but none of them truly stood out. So, he wanted to be Dude, as different as possible is... with his games. Bro, to make myself- Bro, I kid y'all not, we became friends because this is the type of videos that I used to do. I literally used to do videos in his game, and he noticed them and we became friends like that. This is insane. What the heck? And Decabox more clear. Let's investigate his earliest game. The game yes, was simple. You can morph into a baby, teen, adult, then do whatever your heart tells you to. What can possibly go wrong? On the surface, this seems like another plain, boring roleplay game. But didn't you just say he's different? Quiet. Cause here's where the twist comes in. Unlike most of these devs, Decabox was brave enough to give another player, Albert, admin. Who just so happens to be... The biggest Roblox YouTuber. With what this the, special wait, power. What the freak? Is this it? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> is this profile picture actually a picture of him looking like he's in jail? Oh. I was about to say, what the? Albert used it to do some pretty nice things. Cap. I just want to break the server for them because I don't think they should be playing right now. Okay, maybe not so nice. But with the game's nonchalant nature and Albert's excessive trolling, players were on the edge of their seats. He also added a game pass for admin commands. And as Decabox expected, his viewers crowded the game. Quickly, his basic roleplay game became a haven for experiments. Like griefing, spying, and abusing. <laughs> Just die, dude! But it's all in good fun, and it brought life to Decabox's hard work. And especially his other roleplay games. Despite the money he made, that didn't matter at all to him. What actually mattered was people having fun in the games he made. And he was especially thankful for Albert helping him out. But every action always has an equal force against it.
Okay. I do remember him getting banned. I just don't remember what it was for. In simple terms, the more players the game had, the more it got pushed on Roblox. Since the game was a roleplay game, a lot of online daters found it and used it for questionable activities, <laughs> which made it impossible for normal players to have fun. Oh, and not to mention, this happened in every one of his roleplay games. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Everyone thought Decabox was responsible for this. In retaliation, trolls infested his game with bots and framed Decabox for doing it. And just like with Ripple, Roblox believed he actually did it and banned his account. Which locked this group that had all his games. Reasonably, he was upset, very upset in fact. Not because his group had 3 million Robux, but because he worked so hard to build it, and no amount of money can get it back. Yeah. Right. But after getting support from his fans and the biggest YouTubers, he was determined to pick up where he left. So right away, he made a new account named Decapad. Thankfully, he saved some games in an RBX file and was able to re-upload them. But players still found it and reported him. Although he was mad at this, it didn't stop him from making new accounts. What if we try this one more time but have the games, and group under a different name? That's actually brilliant. No way the mods will detect it. I remember, bro. Oh my gosh, that I remember, bro. No. Surely, there must be more to this than online daters. Players must have found worse reasons to report him. Cause the ban reason says he sold Robux for real money. A massive violation of the rules. But according to Decabox, all he did was trade his friend expensive items. But Roblox thought he sold it for real money. Would he be selling the limiteds if he ends up getting them back? I don't think so. Even after proving his case, the admin still did nothing. Unban Decabox! He didn't do anything. He doesn't deserve this. Ban after ban, he lost more and more hope. Until... You get the picture. But instead of dwelling on the negative, we should all be happy with what he tried to do. In the short span of a year, he kickstarted the biggest Roblox series for millions to enjoy, paved the way for current roleplay games, and made a living off of Roblox, and especially for others. Enough to enjoy his retirement and live his life to the fullest. So we shouldn't let trolls take that thought away. Although we don't know where he is now, I think it's best to respect his privacy and honor him as a person and let him move on to a new chapter of his life. But doesn't that make you realize? These three players had a lot going for them, but because of that, players mistreated them without giving them a chance to speak for themselves, driving them off the- Bro missed- Bro didn't do- I, I wanna know a crown. No matter how rich, famous, or beloved someone is, there's always a person behind that screen with real emotions. That's Which back. is why for my next video, I'll be interviewing the richest Roblox players. Not just to find their secrets, but to understand and relate to them as human beings like you and me. So if you don't want to miss it, please check if you're subscribed. I guarantee that's it'll be worth it. But for now, now, that's a wrap. I like this video. That was a W. Oh my gosh, that was an actual W video.